Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So many of you have probably already heard about the um, private ceremony that Mel is having on the 17th of this month to celebrate the changing of her last name. She will be going back to her maiden name, which is Rogers. Okay. Um, she had put a um, picture of the invitation that she sent to the folks that she invited to the ceremony. Okay. And the invitation says, uh, take me back back to the root of all things, back to the beginning of me. And I feel that on so many levels. I can imagine the ceremony feeling like one of the best hot showers that, you know, she's ever had in her life. I see it as her rinsing off the last of, you know, the remaining residue of her disgusting ass ex-husband, the nigga who came into her life to kill, steal, and destroy, in my opinion. Melody Cherie Rogers was who Mel was before somebody's dusty ass, trash ass, bum ass, bastard ass son asked for her hand in marriage, not because he loved her, in my opinion, but because he knew that she would make a difference in his sorry ass life. He saw a young girl fresh out of school who he felt he could use to his benefit, in my opinion, okay? And before I even get further into this video, let me just say that everything said in this video is alleged and is my very own personal opinion okay i feel like she was different from the other girls that martel was used to he saw that mel had a bright future ahead of her and he wanted to be a part of that because he knew that his future didn't look as bright in my opinion i know that i probably sound like i'm speaking as if i know mel and martel personally and i don't <clears throat> But this is just how I feel about the situation. I feel like Mel didn't care about Martel being a possible whore. She didn't care about him being slow. She didn't care about him being broke. She didn't care that he was a criminal. She didn't care where he had come from, which was a broken ass home full of criminals. She saw something in him and said, well, maybe if I encourage him, support him and love him enough, that will be enough to mold him into his best self instead of him remaining you know, as a product of his environment. That's just how I personally feel, okay? But when it comes to a nigga like Martel, nothing you do will ever be enough for them. You can give them all of you and everything you have, and it will never be enough. Martel is a broken little boy who uses women to fill a void. He wants a woman who will love him no matter how terrible he is. He wants a woman to take care of him. He wants a woman to protect him all of the things that he probably wanted in his mother but didn't have which is why he acts as if he hates women because he probably does he acts as if he hates them and you know only want them around so that he can use them to obtain the things that he want in life because he has not been able to obtain those things on his own he needs help in more ways than one but you know is not ready to receive the help because that involves tackling things that he would much rather leave alone due to the emotion that bringing it up may provoke i know he's going to counseling now but that's only because it was mandated by the judge as a requirement to keep his joint custody of the kids okay i don't think that martel is um going there to those sessions with the intent to get something out of it right now martel's main focus is male he's looking for ways to hurt her in any way that he can he can't do that anymore by cheating on her because she divorced him. He can't hold custody over her head anymore because the judge put an end to that, okay? So at the moment, he's trying to hurt her by posting a child that he had with the other woman, okay? But the gag is, like I've said before, Mel has moved on. She's with somebody else. And who knows, she may end up pregnant soon with her own baby by somebody else and while he's sitting up there posting his illegitimate child on social media thinking that he's hurting somebody he's going to be devastated if Mel, you know what i'm saying get to posting a baby bump karma is a bitch because even though Mel has divorced him and has gone back to her maiden name you can you know you can't tell me that martel still doesn't think you know in the back of his mind that he'll get Mel back even after all the stupid shit that he's done, like tried to take her babies away from her or went around showing everybody the intimate video of her. He is disgusting beyond words. And it's disturbing that women can, you know, still get online and say shit like, oh, he's fine. He's a good man. He's a good father. Leave him alone. Everybody make mistakes. He makes choices. Okay. 
period. First of all, it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside if you're a fucked up person on the inside. At least it don't matter to people with sense. But Martell knows that it's always going to be a dumb bitch out there somewhere that don't care about him being a liar, a cheater, abuser, manipulator, a very trash and toxic ass nigga, as long as he look good in a suit and can do a few things in the bedroom and can throw her a few dollars, you know what I'm saying, of his little love and marriage Huntsville check. You know what I'm saying? Just ridiculous that's why he can't pay child support or keep him and his mama out of foreclosure and his land in mountains of debt because the little money that he do get it goes to you know what i'm saying it goes on buying tight ass suits and it goes on women in my opinion he pay to play okay And instead of going out there and getting another job so he can sufficiently support himself and help his ex-wife support their children, he would rather, you know, look for fly-by-night ass schemes, which don't seem to be working for him at all. The scheme that he's currently working on now includes his baby mama and their illegitimate child, okay? I feel like he has instructed Ariane to be very quiet unless he wants her to come forth and say something. Like when he told her to come forth and debunk claims of him trying to get her to release that sex tape. Other than that, Ariane has been quiet, very quiet. Some people were thinking that, you know, it was because she was pregnant and was trying to hide it at the request of Martel because he was real adamant about Ariane proving that she wasn't pregnant. Maybe she could have been pregnant and they're plotting to reveal their second child on the show because I do feel that they're about to allow Ariane to slither her way onto the show, even if it's by way of Stormy's party. And depending on the viewer's response to that, they just might try to add her to the cast. But like I said, that will put an end to the show completely. Martel feel like, you know, that's his show and he called the shots and he says who comes on and who don't. That's why Mel need to walk away from it and perhaps do another show where, you know, she showcases her real life and also teach women how to become independent, especially after leaving toxic relationships. I mean, that's one of the reasons that women stay in them because they feel that, you know, they won't be able to um, maintain on their own. So they operate out of fear. And then, you know, I was thinking that maybe Ariane was quiet because, you know, she was you know, trying to get her life together. At least that's what I was hoping, but I don't know. I just feel like they're about to try to get her on the show. But yeah, anyway, Martel, you know, he's a nigga who's going to always have a plot up his sleeve. The same way Mel is planning to, you know, have a special ceremony to celebrate her going back to her maiden name. I feel that Martel, he now knows this and is planning something, you know, of his own. Just watch. In my opinion, he's going to have some kind of celebration too. I don't know what for though, because he ain't did shit worth celebrating. I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to have a third party for that fucking bullshit ass magazine article. Anything to try to compete with Mel, but you can't compete where there's no competition. Mel out here doing big things and all Martel out here doing is walking around in suits, scamming. Mel is a real business person while Martel is walking around here pretending to be one. He reminds me of a fraud ass salesman cruising around in suits and shades trying to sell some shit that he know damn well don't exist. Okay. But Martel, I feel like he going to have something up his sleeve. He going to try to put together his own celebration, probably acting like he happy that she changed her name or something like that. But knowing damn well that he ain't. Martel is just... Mm. I, I'm running out of words for him. This nigga done lost everything, and his last hope is turning Knox into some kind of superstar. And I can let him know right now, you know. And of course, he gonna try to become his manager, Knox manager. But that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work out. He can't even count. But gonna try to be Knox manager. In my opinion, he better manage to go take his ass out there and look for a real job. 
Y'all, like I said, I posted a picture of him and Knox on the boat. And it was somebody else next to him, but we couldn't see nothing but an arm. I'm thinking that was either Ariane or Marlene. If it was Ariane, it's like, don't you get tired of not being in the picture? And if it was Marlene, I just say, don't go falling your drunk ass off the boat. Y'all, he really thinking he hurting me by posting Knox because he knows that she can't post, you know, their kids. It just shows you just how much he wants to sock it to me, okay? Oh, you're not going to let me profit off our kids, so I'm going to profit off my other child. The one that I know put a dagger in your heart and probably still do every time you see him. But it's like, boy, male busy making money is something you know nothing about. While you out there renting boats, her ass probably going to fuck around and own one, if she don't already, and go sailing with kids that the folks actually want to see. But as far as Mel changing her name, y'all, y'all better believe that Martel is in his feelings about it. Let's not forget how Carlos called Mel Melody Cherie at the reunion, and Martel was quick to correct him and say that her name was Melody Holt. But he won't be able to say that anymore. I mean, he can, but it won't be true. But he is known for saying a lot of shit that ain't true. He want to act like he don't care, but he do. He do. He probably done cried in the car, sent mail, hate mail. You know what I'm saying? She need to check, you know what I'm saying, her tank for sugar. Because y'all know how, you know, hoes used to do that when they got in their feelings. Put uh, sugar in a person's uh, tank, gas tank. And Martell is definitely a hoe in her feelings. Just like she was in her feelings last night when the original combat group had a business meeting. <laughs> y'all, let me stop referring to Martell as she. <laughs> He's such a bitch ass nigga though, y'all. But anyway, Martell caught himself being in his feelings uh, in last night's episode of um, Love and Marriage Huntsville at that business meeting that the comeback group had. Don't even know why he was there. But he was there and walked over to Mel and extended his hand, um, you know, for a handshake, and she left him hanging. He wanted to say that she was being childish, but he's the childish motherfucker who went to her for a handshake, knowing that she don't fuck with him. But he's all about image and felt that she should have shook his hand to show everybody that, you know, they can coexist. When they can... <sighs> When they barely can. You know what I'm saying? Because he is such a disgusting asshole. I know it's hard for her to even sit in the same fucking room that he in. Even if he on the other fucking side. He want Mel to pretend like they're cool. Which is the lie that he was pushing in, you know, his most recent interviews. Because him being cool with Mel makes him look better in the public eye. He's used to Mel, you know, allowing him to look one way, even though that's not what it is. She had him looking like he was running things in that business. And whole time she was. She was the face, the money, the license, everything that the business consisted of. He was just the sorry ass nigga that made withdrawals from the bank whenever the money came rolling in from her hard work. In my opinion, money that came in to support him, he took some of that and used it to support his hoes. Which is why he's been left with absolutely nothing but those holes that he seemed to have cared so much about when he was married. He can't really afford holes now, though. Now that he don't have access to Mel's money anymore, he can throw them a few dollars, okay? But not much. Which is why he out there looking for women with their own money. So he don't have to take care of them. But they can take care of his broke ass. And speaking of women that take care of him. I mentioned in my commentary yesterday, you know, um, that some strange man that Belinda knows allegedly, you know what I'm saying? Has allegedly been watching the Eminem kids, at least boss baby, because the guy mentioned boss baby's name while he was on live and how many boss babies do y'all know? So I'm gonna, you know, take it that he was talking about male's boss baby. Okay. This guy has, uh, been said to be Belinda's babysitter and you know, he's gay. Like I mentioned before, which makes me feel like Martel is probably doing the shit on purpose. He probably see the Eminem kids as not much value to him anymore. And he's upset because he can't get paid off of them. So he's going to use them in ways like this to get at mail 
He's going to use them for something. He can't use them for mail, so he's going to use them for something to get at mail. Because we all know that getting that mail is the focus of his life, which is why he can't get nowhere. Like literally, he's still in the same position that mail left him in with nothing, nothing but his lies and stupid ass antics. So y'all take a listen to this. Shout out to um, content creator Diana Rose because this is where I got the audio from. This is the guy that, uh, that has um, allegedly been watching the Eminem kids, unbeknownst to their mother, Mel. It's like Martel is saying, okay, since you're going to continue to allow your gay brother to watch my kids after I told you that I was against it, I'm going to allow this gay stranger to watch our kids. How about that? Not giving a fuck about his kids being placed in harm's way. And not because the guy is gay, but because this is a man that I'm assuming male don't even know. And a man that Martel probably don't even know. At least not well enough for the kids to be in his care. But check out this audio, y'all. Yo, I, I, I wish he was down there. I wish it was like, it was like boss baby. You know how like they be acting all nice and kind. I was saying audio, but I meant video. All right. So, yeah, Martel, who said that he was taking mail to court because he didn't want men, including his brother, who is gay, watching the kids. Okay. But allegedly got this stranger, got this strange guy keeping his babies. He's a piece of work. Unless Mel put some shit in place now, she going to have a long road ahead of her because he not going to quit. With his bitch boy antics. And speaking of court, y'all, I mentioned that the network had released that clip where Mel was talking to her lawyer about changing her name. And he was telling her how, you know, being in an open court case was going to keep her from doing that. This was recorded months ago, though. As we all know, Mel is now free to go by the name, you know, Melody Rogers. Of course, you know. We all know that Martel don't like the idea of his name not being attached to Mel anymore, but he felt that he had to get in the comments under that post and convince us that he didn't care by congratulating Mel and calling her by her maiden name, which is Melody Rogers. If he didn't care, he would have just stayed his ass quiet, just like he didn't care to address the revenge porn accusations, okay, and his ass stayed quiet. So one person told him in the comments that maybe if he left Mel alone and stopped taking her to court for bullshit ass reasons, because he mad she left his sorry ass, then maybe her changing her name wouldn't have been an issue. She done moved on, got her a new man in her life, so why can't she be happy? Your ass is dating other women. This is what the person said to Martel. And I was like, yep, like he was doing during the marriage. By the way, dating other women. But when she want to move on with her life, it's a problem. So we all know how mad Martel get when he slapped with some truth. Since not one lie was told, okay, in that person's comment. Martel got mad and said, you FF. And I'm assuming that FF mean fuck face. You know, I don't know, but I'm going to assume that it means fuck face. Y'all can let me know what y'all think. But um, if so, he's the last one that should be calling somebody that when he eat ass. But Martel said to that person, don't at me unless you know what the fuck you're talking about. If you think I had her in court for no reason and spent 28K for no reason, that confirms how foolish you are. Now, here's the thing. Martel with your bitch ass, because I know you're listening. Nobody said you took her to court for no reason. That person and the rest of us said that you took her to court for bullshit ass reasons, with one of them being to secure your future with monthly child support payments for the next 15 years. You bum ass bitch, and it didn't work out for you, just like everything else in your life didn't work out for you, including all of those failed fucking businesses. He spent that 28K on lawyers and shit because he saw it as an investment. He thought that his ass was really going to win that case. And start getting child support for Mel after he was granted custody of them kids. But that shit was shut all the fuck the way down. Okay? It didn't go how he thought it was going to go. 
And then he had the nerve to try to get the judge to get Mel to pay that 28 K back to him when his stupid ass was the one that initiated that motherfucking child support, not child support, that fucking custody case, not because she was a bad parent, but because he wanted her motherfucking money and he wanted control. And he's a bitter ass bitch that can't get over the fact that she don't want his ass no more. She won't take him back. Okay. That's what it is. But um, another person then said that Martell was brave for getting his trifling ass down in the comment section and that he was indeed a cheater. So again, y'all know how Martell hate the truth. And the truth is he's a cheater, which is exactly why he's in a position that he's in now. And he hates to be reminded of that. So he told that person that, you know, they were brave for adding him and told them not to add him looking below regular so when all else fails and you're incapable of combating the truth just try to attack the person's looks that's what he does Ariane does the same thing she like calling people fat martel like calling people ugly and broke but here's the thing <sighs> martel ain't shit but an ugly ashy broke ass nigga in a suit so how the fuck he got room to say somebody looked below regular? I guess he think because he got a few muscles and the stress from not having no money that made him lose a few pounds that he can talk about somebody's looks. You know what I'm saying? Because that's his go-to when somebody hit his ass with the truth. He attempts to attack their looks and also their income. Like how the fuck he going to do that when he owns absolutely nothing, not even the suits he wear? You know what I'm saying? He's out here suing people for child support checks, scamming up fake storylines for money, robbing ATMs, allegedly. But I saw the mug shot. You know what I'm saying? Legs look like candlesticks, teeth turning yellow from all the ass he eat. He needs women to take care of him financially. Millions of dollars in debt, but he going to try to call people ugly and broke? When that would be the musty, miserable motherfucker he see when he look in the mirror with his deeply disturbed ass. I can't with him. Just a busted ass clown, a clown in a suit. And because I know that he enjoys being a clown, I won't be speaking on him posting his other child, y'all. Not moving forward because nobody cares. And plus, I know that's what he wants for content creators to see him posting knocks and then talking about it bringing him attention he ain't gonna get it not from me moving forward i hope that it's a celebration all across youtube on june 17th to help mel celebrate her removing that disgusting hope name from hers y'all know he gonna be somewhere in the bushes lurking his walkie talkie stalky ass probably done already say the date but anyway y'all that's gonna be all for this video Y'all take care and I'll chat with y'all in the next one.